guys, today we're gonna be looking at my Michael Jackson vinyl collection. I'm gonna be showing you guys all the records that I have. I did this video quite some time ago. I think I might have even done it twice in the last three or four years, but I'm back because I've gotten some new things into my collection and I wanted to go over everything with you guys. Let's just get into it without further ado. You are now watching MJ Fangirl TV. Okay, you guys, so I do have a pretty sizable collection of Michael Jackson vinyls. I don't have every single album, but I have just enough, and I'm really excited to share those with you guys, so let's get into it. Okay, so it wouldn't be right without me sharing the very first vinyl that I ever purchased, which is this Motown Legends Michael Jackson album. This is actually a collection of some Michael Jackson tracks from when he went solo on Motown. Yes, he was releasing solo records on Motown way before he released Off the Wall with Epic Records. This has songs like Rock and Robin, Johnny Raven, Ain't No Sunshine, Euphoria, all the things you are, Cinderella stay a while, and with a child's heart. Ooh, it also has Up Again, that's a good song. If you guys are new to Michael Jackson at all, um, you definitely wanna check out some of his younger uh, recordings. I think that these are some of like the most emotive songs that he's had in his career. I will even go as far as to say in his career, yes, because. Michael was really, really conveying some really heavy emotions for his age back then, and some of these songs are just golden. They're perfect for listening to on the weekends while you're cleaning, while you're studying, while you're just relaxing around the house. Okay, so the next album in my collection is this one. It actually matches my shirt right now, and I just posed for a thumbnail. Did you guys catch that? All right, this is actually the bad single. This is the bad um, special 12 inch single mixes. This is one of my favorite um, singles ever for a song. The alternative version, the alternate version rather, the one that I love is the bad dance extended mix including the false fade. You guys could see here. I hope you guys could see that, but basically the, so the first side has two versions, the second side has another three versions of the song, including an acapella mix, but I love the dance extended mix with the false fade because that's so cool. I love in the music video, you can kind of hear it during the credits where it like goes away and he comes back and he's like, whoo, and it's just like, doom, 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 all that, the guitar and all that, it's just such a cool mix. So that's one of my favorites. I purchased that um, not too long ago. Here's another single that I really love. It's the Remember the Time single. On here you have a Silky Soul 12 inch mix, the Silky, the East Smooth Late Night mix, excuse me, a Silky Dub mix and the 12 inch main mix. And then you also have a remix of Black or White called the Underground Club mix. This was back in the day when everything had like that club mix and I think that was really interesting how um, Michael Jackson songs were mixed for the club. I personally don't ever hear any of these club mixes these days. I really only hear the original songs played at parties and clubs. So yeah, this is, um, but this is a really cool single just to have and I really love the cover. Um, I think that I actually got this one from a record store, a vinyl record store that sold vintage records and this was a pretty good find. I think I paid less than 20 bucks for it. So the next album that I have is actually the Dancing Machine album by the Jackson 5. I like this album a lot. It has songs like Life of the Party, Whatever You Got I Want, Dancing Machine of course, and one of my favorites ever, I Am Love. If you don't know the song I Am Love, you better figure it out and listen to it because it is golden, you guys. To me, this is just one of the greatest songs that the Jackson 5 did that showcases both Jermaine and Michael Jackson's strengths. I love it, I, I love the Jackson 5 era, but I love how um, Michael Jackson has his solo, Jermaine has his solo, and you could really see, um, you could really experience that juxtaposition just the, just the of the two voices and how um, they both come together and make this track just like a total banger. It's just, it's, it's so much fun to listen to you guys. It starts off slow. But, um, but you gotta listen to I Am Love. Comment down below if you're also a lover of this song like I am. I'm just so passionate about I Am Love and I want all you guys to listen to it. So if you have listened to it and you love it, comment down below and let me know I'm not the only one. And if you haven't, go listen to it and come back and comment and let me know what you guys think. All right, so on the topic of the Jackson 5, I also have this Jackson 5 
oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm like sitting on an uncomfortable part of the chair. Um, the Jackson 5 Christmas album. The Jackson 5 Christmas album actually was um, a really, really big hit and it's got lots of classic songs. You guys probably know Mommy Kissing Santa Claus and so many other hits. Up on the housetop, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, the Christmas song, Give Love on Christmas Day. Um, the Jackson 5 of the Stevie Wonder song, Someday at Christmas, is also amazing. I just absolutely love the Jackson 5 Christmas album, and so I had to have it. I actually had another copy over there, and I think that one is messed up, but this one is pretty nice. And this is, oh, it's got a scratch on it, but it's an original from um, back in the day. This is not a reprint as far as I am, um, as far as I know, and it's in pretty good condition, so... Yes, definitely go and pick that up. They've also got like new versions of the album at Urban Outfitters and places like that. But I will try to link um, this down below uh, if you want like the reprinted new version. I believe that it might sound a little crisper, but I kind of like the way that the old vinyl sound anyway. All right, now on to a more recent purchase. This was given to me for Christmas by my dad a couple years back. This is the 25th anniversary of Thriller. Um, this is just the straight up Thriller album. And um, this is a picture disc. So the cool thing about this is you have um, the photo of Michael in Thriller, as well as the photo of him for the cover of the, the video, uh, cover of the album, excuse me. And um, it's cool because you can kind of watch the record play with the little picture on it. And I and I think that's cool. I think I just picked this up because I actually have never had a Thriller record. I've never had it on vinyl, so that's why I decided to ask for that for Christmas. Um, also, going into Michael Jackson's solo, we have the original Off the Wall. Um, Off the Wall was a monumental, groundbreaking album. You guys know I had to have this, and this is in really good condition. I have no idea if this is a reprint or what this is. Um, I, no, it's, yeah, it's 1979 at the back, so this is an original. I love, love, love the glowing feet at the back, and Comment down below if you guys know the history of this. Like, why did Michael Jackson change the cover? Because now if you go and buy the Off The Wall album, you'll never see this picture. It's a totally different picture. And I want to know if Michael ever spoke to that, because I've always wondered. But on to the next album. This is an album that I purchased recently. This is a reprint. This is one of the re-releases of Moving Violation. This has one of my favorite Jackson 5 songs ever on it. Perhaps my very favorite. Call Forever Came Today It's just a masterpiece. Um, um, also comes with this really cool sleeve. It's got like this old uh, Motown fan club insert reprint um, and very cool color. It's like a yellow, a light yellow pastel color. You could see it more closely here. Every time I bring it up to the camera, it doesn't focus, but um, this is a really cool album. They re-released all the Jackson 5 albums pretty recently, so if you're looking for like a new copy, something really cool, lots of different colors, definitely check that out online. I think Amazon has them. Um, any of your local music stores should have them if you want to support your local businesses. Um, that's where I got this. I believe me and Gadget Trish, my friend, went to go shop for vinyls and we came across this and I couldn't resist. I was like, ooh, yellow, I want it. Also, I wanted to show this to you guys because I guess I took this off of the front with the plastic and I stuck it on an index card, but it says limited edition, 2,000 copies, yellow vinyl, one pressing. So there's only 2,000 copies of this. So if you can get your hands on that, I definitely recommend it because if you don't have the album already and you don't have or care to get an original version, why not get this? It's a cool collector's item. Okay, so next I have um, this album. This is a One Day in Your Life album. This was a release from the Motown record label after Michael Jackson found his success solo on Epic Records. And this includes some songs like It's Too Late to Change the Time, You Are There, Take Me Back, I'll Come Home to You, and she wrote Dear Michael. I love that song. So yeah, I like this. Um, it's really cool to hear Michael Jackson sing as an adolescent, young adult, teen. Um, it's just a really interesting time for his voice. And you get to hear kind of his voice maturing. And I think that's just such an awesome gift, you guys, as a Michael Jackson fan, to be able to hear his voice go through so many different phases and changes. It's like, you know, I'm sure a lot of fans of other artists wish that they could hear those types of um, transformations and so I always love uh, listening back to some of those songs and I feel like I actually relate to a lot of those songs really um, a lot more than some other ones too so 
Ugh, the Motown sound is always in my heart. So next up we have a double picture disc. Yes, we have the History album. Very, very cool. You guys can see it's two discs because there were two sides to the History CD. But with this, it's actually not like the greatest hits and all that. It's only like disc two contents. It's History Continues. So it's got like Scream, They Don't Care About Us, Little Susie, Tabloid Junkie, Too Bad, all of that history. And um, I'm gonna actually take the records out so I could show you. Um, but I received this, I believe this was from um, Trish as well. I believe this was from Trish, yeah. She gave this to me for my birthday, or for, yeah, for my birthday a couple years back. So this is really cool. You can see that's from the History uh, music video, or, or teaser rather. This is the album cover. Let's see what this next one is. And by the way, you guys, I'm sorry if I'm not treating the vinyls like very delicately. I'm kind of one of those people that is not very delicate with my stuff, so. I apologize if I offend anyone, but this is a picture from Scream, the music video. And then also there's the MJ logo, the original MJ logo, which I love and I have no idea why um, they discontinued using that. They use like that other logo and that other logo to me is just not Michael. I don't really um, associate that with Michael. Maybe that's something that they created because it's like the estate and now it's like a different um, logo just to symbolize like that this is the work of the MJ state and not really living Michael Jackson anymore but I was never a fan of that logo um, I really loved this original logo that was on like the history album and stuff so that's that next I have this copy of the Jackson's live this uh, album is damaged um, so that's why I have it in here. You guys could see I bought this second hand and it was only like $8, but I really wanted it. The actual records are in really great condition. I've told stories about this before you guys, but um, when I was younger and I was living with my parents, um, I would always hang out with my dad in the basement and we would always listen to his turntables down there and we would talk about music and listen to the Jacksons live and he would put this on for me and he one time he was like close your eyes and we turn off the lights and just imagine that you're there and it really just took me to another place so I I have a lot of love for the Jacksons live album um, and it just means so much to me actually a lot of times I think what tour I would love to go to and um, most often I really think that it would have been triumph because I have like you know we don't really have a clear visual of it but we have these amazing audio clips from the show by way of the Jackson's live album and I just would have loved to be there. It seems like it was such an electrifying show. So that's that. That's probably one of my favorite albums out of this whole collection here. Um, now we're gonna get into another Jackson's album which is the Jackson's Victory album. Not sure why um, I didn't have this for such a long time but I recently got this like within the last year. Uh, and this has State of Shock, Weight, Torture, and what else? The Hurt, One More Chance, Be Not Always, Always, Be Not Always. I love that song. Um, produced by Michael Jackson. A lot of these songs are produced by Michael. State of Shock, um, actually no, two of them are. State of Shock and Be Not Always. But those actually happen to be two of my favorites. And if you open this, is there anything on the inside? Yes, there is. One of these amazing pictures of the Jackson brothers. Gotta show love to the Jackson brothers. All six of you guys are icons and I love you guys. And if you guys are ever watching the channel, you wanna come on, come chat with me, I would love to. That's actually something I'm like manifesting and working up the courage to try and uh, pitch because I would love to talk to the Jacksons. Um, so next up, speaking of the Jacksons, this is probably, my second favorite album in my collection after the Jackson's Live album and it's this Jackson 5 anthology. This is like the mother load of all of the greatest hits of the Jackson 5. If you don't get anything else today that I told you about, get this. If you're, if, you know, if you're looking for um, something Jackson 5 uh, to add to your collection, it's just such a great collection of songs. And it's a great introduction to the Jackson 5 if you only know the basics, like I Want You Back in ABC. This has um, Ben, That's How Love Goes, Love Don't Wanna Leave, Looking Through the Windows, Little Bitty Pretty One, Sky Rider, Whatever You Got I Want, Dancing Machine, Just a Little Bit of You, I Am Love that I told you about before, Forever Came Today, Going Back to Indiana, Maybe Tomorrow, Rockin' Robin. So much on here, this is an amazing album for anyone to have, so I highly recommend this. I got this on eBay. I think I got it for like 50 bucks, and it's in immaculate condition for the fact that it came out in 1976. So, 
go and pick that up. I'm getting down to the wire here, guys. Um, I have the ET storybook, which a good friend of mine so nicely sold to me when she was getting rid of some of her collection. She was selling some of her stuff and she was like, do you know anyone that wants the ET storybook? And I was like, I do. Um, I don't think I ever really went over this with you guys. I think I introduced you guys to this in like my bedroom tour for my old apartment. Um, but it's got like the actual storybook so you could read along and Michael's narrating. Let's see if I can get the album out. I don't know if it's going to be anything too special. Oh yeah, it is actually. It's got Michael and E.T. on there. You guys could probably see. And then we have this frightening poster. If you guys don't know, I actually was always frightened of E.T., but we have this poster inside. Really great quality. Um, not sure if that'll ever be hung anywhere near me, but I love it and I love this album and I think it's such a great collector's item. And um, I would love to like, just like zone out and listen to that and fall asleep one night. I think I, I, I have done that in the past and it's actually really relaxing. So um, now on to the smaller records. I forgot what these are called. Are these 45s? I think they're the smaller ones. So let's get into these. Um, I have Dancing Machine. I have Get On The Floor Single. The other side of it is Beat It. Interesting, seeing as those are from two separate albums. Um, working day and night. The other side is rock with you. Um, here's another get on the floor and off the wall. Oh, maybe that was maybe maybe that was two albums. I'm so confused. Okay, this is get on the floor with the B side being beat it, and there's another one that's off the wall and get on the floor. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, and then I have, what is this? This is not Michael Jackson, so I don't know why that's in my collection. I have a couple more you guys to go. I have uh, the Gone Too Soon single dedicated to Ryan White. Side one is just a regular song. Side two is an instrumental. I have Black or White. This has um, just also the same thing, the song, and the other side is the instrumental. These are 45, so they have a lot shorter playing time, you guys, if you guys are new to vinyl. Um, this is Will You Be There? And let me see what is in here. It's interesting, you guys. Side two is Girlfriend. Yes, like Girlfriend from Off the Wall. Interesting, huh? That they would take something from a whole new album and put it back, or a whole different album, rather, and put it on the back of that. Um, this is Heal the World. This is the prelude to Heal the World. Um, and then he prelude with Heal the World, rather. Okay, the seven inch edit, um, that's on side A. And then on side B is She Drives Me Wild. This is pretty cool. It has that whole intro, you know, with the little girl talking. And um, I think, I think that's what it is. I haven't listened to that in a long time. But my last album in my vinyl collection is going to be Give In To Me. Michael and Slash on the front. And give in to me album version and side two is Dirty Diana from the Bad Album. So that is my total vinyl collection, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are looking for any other vinyls um, or anything like that, I highly recommend eBay. I recommend Mercari. <clears throat> I recommend going to your local vinyl shops. And if I have any new links to vinyls or repressings, repr reprintings, I'll definitely link them down below. Comment down below what your favorite item from here is. If you have anything on your bucket list or wish list, comment down below and let me know what it is. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite vinyl is out of your collection. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel if you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.